Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to perform reading and writing operations using a byte stream class. You know very well we have two types of streams in Java programming language. First is byte stream, which is used to handle input and outputs of bytes or a binary data. Second is a character streams, which is used to handle inputs and outputs of character data. So in the previous session videos, we have covered how to read and write data using a character streams classes. In today's session, we will explore byte streams and its classes in order to perform inputs and output. So byte stream class has two top level of abstract classes. First is the input stream, which is or which help us to read data from a source the output stream which help us to write data to a destination so let us explore a byte streams and its key classes in order to perform reading and writing operations so we have two important class first is the file input stream class second one is the file output stream class which help us to read data and write data on the file so what is file input stream class? This class help us to read data from a file in a sequence of bytes. Second is file output stream class, which help us to write data to a file in a sequence of bytes. So let us understand with the help of a programming examples, how to perform reading and writing operations using byte stream class. So let us move to the Eclipse. Okay, so here is a program where we are trying to copy the data of one file and trying to write the data into another file. So let us understand how to perform these operations, right? So let us use a try with resource concept or inside it, I will create an object of file input streams and file output stream class. So let me just create an object of file input stream class. So here an object is in is equal new file input stream. And here you would like to, you will write the name of a file from which you will copy the data. So for example, we have two files that is myfiles.txt. Another file is traditional.txt, right? So I will copy the data of my file to the traditional.txt file. So let me just write the name of a file from where I would like to copy the data. So the file name is my file.txt, right? Clear? Yes. Okay, so if you would like to use the multiple resource inside a try block, you can put the semicolon here, right? And you can just write the name of a resource. So I will just write the another resource that is file output stream. You will create an object out is equal new file output stream. Or inside it, you will write the name of a file in which you would like to copy the data. So the file name is traditional.txt. Traditional.txt. So please check the name of the file. The file name must be proper. Traditional.txt, right? So after this, you can just close this resource or it, it will just throwing some exceptions. You can add a catch corresponding to it. So it is throwing two different types of exceptions. First is the file not found exception. Second one is the input output exceptions. Now inside the try, you can just perform some operations in order to copy the data from my file to the traditional .txt file. So how will you just perform the copy operations? You will just read the content of this file and you can write inside traditional.txt. So how will you perform the reading operations? So we have a function that is read function. So that is in.read function. 
you will just read the data in the form of bytes you can see it reads a byte of data from the input stream right so you can just return this data inside a variable of integer type so let me just create some variable here that is int byte read right so i can write i can declare this variable so this variable will hold the binary data inside it okay and i will read till the end of the file so i have to apply the while loop also in order to read the complete file right so here what will be the condition just you can put this code inside it in a condition right until and unless this read will not reach to the end of the file so here you will not equal you will write not equal minus 1 so this is a condition you can write byte read is equal in dot read and you will just put here like that so this will come in one bracket and you will just move this you will just iterate this while condition until and unless it will not reach to the end of the file now inside it what can you do using the out file output stream object you can perform some write operations or you can just write this byte read right this one so this is over so this is the code you can see how to just trying to copy the data of my file.txt file to the traditional.txt so let us see the content of both files inside my file.txt we have this content inside traditional.txt we have this content right so let us run this program let's see how the cop how the data will be copied from one file into another file using byte stream classes let us run this program and let's see what is the output so your program is successfully just executed let me just open the con file traditional.txt so here you can see your file data has been copied the previously in the my file.txt you have this data and this data is copied inside traditional.txt file so guys i hope you understand how to just perform the reading and writing operations using a byte stream classes right so here we have copied the data of one file into the another file you can use two different files in order to perform some reading and writing operations so guys we have done for this session so in the next session we will come up with a new video sessions but before closing this uh, you know session let me help you to understand what is the difference between these two approach means using a stream class approach that is byte stream approach and a character stream approach so here you can see the difference between byte and character streams classes so byte stream class handles input outputs of row binary data it can read or write data byte by byte which makes them suitable for handling any types of data including binary files like images audio file video files or the textual data also but the character stream class can handle the inputs and outputs of characters only which take characters automatically and perform reading and writing operations characters by characters or here you can see the key differences between the byte streams and the character streams that you can explore through this link you can see on the j code book so you can explore it and you can understand the key differences between it so i hope you understand the difference between byte and character streams so in the next session you will learn how to perform serialization and deserialization of objects in java programming language so guys thanks for watching have a great day bye bye for now